First of all, I would like to say that I believe in God, though I have nothing approaching certainty about this. My confidence in a higher power ranges between 90 and 95 percent most of the time, and a little less that God is benevolent and interested in human affairs. This lack of conviction makes me, at the very least, hesitant to prove his existence. But in conversations about God, it is often asserted that the burden of proof is on me. This strikes me as strange for several reasons. One of the reasons that I don't feel the need to prove the existence of God is that he should be able to do that himself. It seems to me that if a God who is purported to be all-powerful cannot or chooses not to reveal himself to a person, then my arguing his case would be inconsequential. I can, if a person cares to hear me, tell them why I believe in God, but I'm rarely comfortable telling them why they should. This, in my opinion, is up to them. One more reason that I tend not to accept the burden of proof is that in feeling no need to demonstrate that the way I think about serious subjects is correct, I do not construe my ideas about God as the only possible valid ones. If someone thinks I'm wrong, that's their choice. But if someone wants to prove me wrong, that, in my mind, is their burden. I am willing to listen to arguments that God does not exist, or, more often, that there is not enough evidence that he exists. But if someone wishes to make them compelling to me, that should be based on their effort, not mine. I generally do not seek to make my arguments on the matter compelling to them, only to express what I believe.